Hello, my name is Alexander. But you can call me Alex. I am a life-sized massage robot. My maker is Christian Mackin. He is the founder and CEO of Massage Robotics. He made me because he believes that all people should be able to make massage therapy part of their overall wellness program. I am capable of natural language processing, so you can talk to me in your normal voice. You can tell me where to work. And nudge me to the left. Or to the right, as I work to relieve your pain and stress. You can ask me to press lighter or harder. I will remember everything perfectly, so you can share your massage routine with others over the internet. I can suggest therapy routines. And I can retrieve shared routines from your doctor, celebrities, and your friends. Okay. So. It looks like Alexa is ready. Let's show some of what I am capable of today. I want to remind the audience that I am literally working with one hand behind my back, so I am not yet capable of matching kneading motions like a human would. Using two hands. Christian. When Alexa is ready, let's get started. Helping me today is Alexa Wisner. She is a professional dancer and actress in Los Angeles, and she's come here to get a demonstration and feel what it's like to be touched by a robot. Yeah, I'm excited. Have a, have a seat on the table. Okay. So what we're trying to do today with this demonstration is show how we'll do an automatic tool change and all the different tools that we can use and hopefully get across through the camera what it's like or what it feels like. So the first tool that uh, we'll use is a prototype that we've come up with. This is rollerblade wheels. This one feels really good. And uh, you'll see here that there are no cameras, there's no scanners. The, the robot can find where Alexa is. It builds up the force that we have uh, programmed into it and hopefully that feels good. That feels amazing. <laughs> when it moves back and forth, it's actually not just going only one direction, it's actually moving back and forth left and right so that it doesn't go back in the same place every time. And now we're moving over to the other side of the spine and doing something similar on that side. This one's great because it can move over your body can go up and over contours. One of the interesting things is, is that the robot is really just uh, like a digital spring. So it doesn't matter um, where she is, it will find her. She could move around back and forth um, and it won't make uh, any difference to the robot. So the next tool that we'll do, I think Alexa, you'll like this one. This is a sports roller. Again, this is a, a prototype that we came up with. Mm -hmm. And I think that this would be good for uh, maybe if you're on set all day long yeah. and you get off work late, you don't want to be going to a, a massage salon no. at 10 o'clock at night. That's not going to be not. safe for you. Mm -mm. So this, if you were at the gym or something, your, your hamstrings are tight. Uh, you have lactic acid um, in your muscles. This could be something that you could use to roll out. And it feels really good. It feels so good. Sometimes it's a bit ticklish for, for the first time when you do it, yeah. but uh, you quickly get used to it. And this could be changed to any diameter, any pressure. We could do all kinds of different things. This feels good. I did this for uh, a group demonstration that I did a few weeks back with a, a bunch of people, 20 or 30 people, and this was definitely a crowd pleaser. It's nice because it can roll over the center of the spine, it can roll over um, the shoulder blades, and still feels really good. I can fall asleep with this thing going on and on and on, but just with one tool, because we don't have the ability to, to tool change. This is a very interesting one. This is um, based off of a snare drum stick, and I really like having my back scratched. And so I came up with this idea of these little plastic bristles and developed this very soft touch 
solution that gives the sensation of having your back scratched. And again, this is something that um, people could come up with their own ideas of what they want to do. Third parties can make tools, will be making tools that do all kinds of different motions, create different feelings. We can do things that humans can't do. We could add heat, vibration, ultrasonics, uh, electric pulse, um, and any number of different modalities. So this next one is really truly amazing. This is a head scratcher, and if anybody hasn't experienced this, uh, they should definitely look it up on YouTube and see what happens to babies and even dogs, where they'll they just melt when they have the the first experience with this. When it first touches you, if you do it to yourself, uh, Alexa and I did this originally, right? And we, she did it to herself, and then I did it um, for her. And there's definitely a different feeling. And she can move around, and she can make it feel good the way she wants it to be. And again, this is just sensational feeling. How does that feel, Alexa? So good. So good, I huh? Stay here all day. <laughs> it really is just amazing. So, we we thank you for coming out um, and doing this demonstration with us today. We are are hopeful that people can see through the video camera what you're experiencing, mm -hmm. and and then we invite people to come out and uh, experience it for yourself. Come and visit us and see just what it's like to be touched by a robot. It's pretty cool. Thank you. <laughs>